Hello, it's Elliot here. Do you recall the incident when my cousin accidentally purchased an iPhone from an online seller only to discover that it was locked to the previous owner? It was incredibly frustrating, wasn't it? Well, today I have some fantastic news for those of you facing a similar situation. I'm here to guide you through various methods to remove that troublesome iPhone lock to owner message, commonly known as the iCloud activation lock. The best part is that these techniques aren't limited to iPhones, they also apply to iPads and Apple Watches. And the cherry on top, they're all completely legal. So without further ado, let's jump right in and get your device back up and running. Keep in mind this info is for rightful owners who've just forgotten their login details. Don't use it for illegal purposes like bypassing security on stolen items. We're following YouTube's rules here. All right, let's move on. Let's get into the details. I vividly recall my friend Andrew facing the same issue last year. His child had played around with his phone, somehow locking him out. It was undeniably frustrating, right? Fortunately, there are several services available to come to the rescue. Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app has truly been a game changer for many individuals. Another reliable option is Safe Unlocks which has a track record of success within the community. Additionally, both lock to owner and iUnlock app are exceptional choices to help you remove that bothersome iPhone lock to owner message. I wanna emphasize that these recommendations aren't random. They have genuinely assisted countless people. Now, let's be frank here. While these services are incredibly helpful, it's crucial to use them responsibly. Remember, the goal is to assist those who genuinely own their devices and find themselves in a bind. Got all that? Great. In our next segment, will delve into how to navigate Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. So stay tuned for that. Quick heads up, folks. These unlock services primarily work in first world countries. If for some reason you can't access them or choose not to use them, don't sweat it. We've got a little something for our viewers. Every week we're giving away 250 unlocks. One in, here's what you gotta do. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, drop a comment below with your device model, like iPhone 8, your IMEI number, and your country. Once you've done these three steps, you're automatically entered. Simple as that, keep an eye out and good luck. Let's dive into a step-by-step -step guide on how to use unlockhere.com, an incredibly handy AI-powered web app designed to help you break free from those troublesome mobile restrictions. I promise it's simpler than you might think. To begin, open your web browser, whether on your phone or computer, and visit unlockhere.com. Once you're on the website, you'll be introduced to Nifty, the friendly AI bot. Inform Nifty that you're looking to unlock your iCloud by clicking on Activation Lock. If you're using an iPhone, click on the iPhone option. However, if you're the proud owner of an iPad or Apple Watch, don't worry, they've got you covered too. Now the next step is crucial. You'll need to enter your IMEI or serial number. Here's a quick explanation. iPhones typically have IMEI, so if you're unlocking an iPhone, choose IMEI. On the other hand, iPads and Apple Watches may have IMEIs, especially if they have a SIM card slot. But most of them use a serial number. If you're uncertain about where to find this information, no need to fret. Simply press the sleep button on your lock device, press it again, tap on the small I icon in the bottom right corner, and there you have it. All your device information will be right there. Once you have that information, input it into the corresponding field. Next, you'll be asked to provide some basic information to link the order to your account. Make sure this information is accurate as you'll receive a confirmation code in your email. Got it? Fantastic. Now be sure to check the box to agree to the terms and please only proceed if you're not attempting to unlock a stolen device. Before you continue, don't forget to click I'm not a robot and complete the quick captcha. After that, click start process and just like that, you're on your way. A quick heads up, check your email, including the spam or junk folder for a confirmation code. Once you've received the code, enter it back on unlock here. Then shortly after, prove that you're not a robot and make sure to tap the button to validate the information. And just like that, the unlocking magic begins. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. 
It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. Now let's explore the option of seeking assistance from Apple. Here are a couple of ways to work around the issue. Contacting Apple support with the original invoice. To begin, locate the original invoice for your device as this is a crucial piece of evidence that Apple requires to verify your ownership. Once you have the invoice in hand, visit Apple support online or give them a call. When you connect with their support team, explain your situation and inform them that you possess the original invoice as proof of ownership. They will then guide you through the necessary steps. Having the invoice usually ensures a smooth resolution to the problem. The next one is resetting the Apple ID on Apple's website. Visit Apple's official website and look for the forgot Apple ID or password option, which is typically located right below the sign in box. Click on this option and you'll be prompted to enter your Apple ID, usually your email address. Follow the provided steps to reset your password. This may involve receiving an email or answering security questions. Once you've completed these steps and set a new password, you can use it to unlock your device. Both of these methods are relatively straightforward. However, it's crucial to always safeguard your account details to prevent encountering such issues in the future. Now let's explore another solution, iCloud Unlock software. This software can be a true savior if you're dealing with a locked device. However, there's a caveat. You'll require a Windows computer to utilize it, so it's not an option for everyone. When you begin your search for this software, you will come across numerous options. However, here's the important part. Not all of them are effective. It's crucial to exercise caution because downloading random software can sometimes lead to malware or other undesirable issues. That's why, even though iCloud Unlock software can be a viable option, it might be a wiser choice to use online services such as Unlock Here or Safe Unlocks. What makes them cool? They don't necessitate any downloads, allowing you to bypass the risk of encountering any harmful computer bugs. Here's another way to unlock your device if it's caught in the iCloud web, especially if you can get a little help from the previous owner. Imagine your device as a kite stuck in a tree. The previous owner can help untangle it. So if the seller is cool and ready to help, here's what they should do. First, they should visit iCloud.com on a browser. It's like the control room. They'll enter using their iCloud username and password. This is like the key to the control room. Once they're in, they'll look for find iPhone. It's like looking for the tree where the kite is stuck. There, they'll see a list of devices and they just need to pick the one that's causing the trouble. Now, it's untangling time. They'll click on erase. It's like shaking the branches to free the kite. This action cleans up the device, making it fresh and new. But wait, there's one last step. They should also click on remove from account. It ensures that the kite is entirely free from the tree and it won't get stuck again. And there you go. Your device should be back, flying high and free. That's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for sticking with us till the end. We hope you got what you need.